reunion. Yeah. David it Banner. Was it fun as it looked? Hey, me and David Banner, man, my man, reality, we slept on that man. He slept on one couch, I slept on another couch. That's what David Banner was was out uh, making beats out of his van. Yeah. That's how far we go back. So, oh, you know, all David the same. Banner. David Banner, he be hard on David Banner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he is hard on I David Banner. Do with that. I got do with that. But anyway, well, you know what he you said. You know what he, this is. This came up on the other episode. He said he taught Pimp how to run the drum machine. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Stop that, bro. Got that. And everybody I, thinks it's from the know. B.I. interview, and it wasn't from the B.I. interview. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah. I go to Boosie House. I be them things, they be running for me. Talking yeah. about, ah, here he come. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man, you got damn right, motherfucker. I'ma say you need me. You want to say my motherfucking head? Nigga. I don't know if he hey, got COVID. I don't know if he touched his dick or what, man. They gonna pay me to touch my motherfucking head, man. Let me ask you this, man. So how when how did that go? That day go with that? Uh, uh, I choose you. How how was that with with uh, you had uh, uh, UGK B UGK and you uh, had David Banner podcast. Mm -hmm. Well, you how know, was but that? you know, you know. Uh, I, I, I work with Outkast. You know, I, okay. did, I was in the So Fresh and So Clean video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to go back to the, Yeah, so, you know, so all these dudes, everybody in Atlanta know me. You okay. know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm like, you know, like I said, I'm the mayor. I've, I didn't work with everybody. So, you know what I mean? We already had a relationship. So that, it was like a family reunion. Yeah. David it Banner. Is, was it fun as it looked? Hey, me and David Banner, man, my man, reality, we slept on that man. He slept on one couch, I slept on another couch. That's what David Banner was was out uh, uh, making beats out of his van. Yeah. That's how far we go back. So, uh -oh. you know, all David Banner. David Banner, he be hard on David Banner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is hard on I David Banner. I got nothing to do with that. I got nothing to do with that. But anyway, well, you know what he you said. You know what? He, this, is, this came up on the other episode. He said he taught Pimp how to run the drum machine. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Stop that, bro. I got that. And everybody thinks it's from the B.I. interview, and it wasn't from the B.I. interview. Okay. It was not from the B.I. interview. If I could pull it up right now, I'd show it to you. But, you know, your people went hard on me in the comments, but Didn't I don't they, give a shit. But at the end of the day, you... Because they know what the fuck they talking about. That beat machine. I know what the fuck he was making beats before that. But, I can't say that. Come on, the man. good thing about it, though, right? Bum B, you know, I've been, you know, uh, Jay Prince called me to do the Bum B album while Pimp was in jail. So y'all okay. might hear me on that. So it was a family reunion for me because all of them like my little brothers. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. all like little brothers. So yeah. you know, it was a, it was a fun time. Bishop Don Juan was all the pimps. All it the was a bunch was of there. pimps there. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it was, it, it was in California, man. We had a beautiful time, man. And it was the last time we was all together with. That's pimp. right. That's you know right. He had that so, thing white mink on, and he killed that video I, to me you know I was right oh, on yeah. top of that I was like this nigga killing these niggas man I'm always gonna say he won well, whatever verse he put out I don't give a damn <laughs> that's my guy man but the boy I, you know he just had to be in order to get in that caliber the way these guys were you had some high profile guys on that song man so and I and I heard it was a 3-6 mafia uh, yeah, it was on there too wasn't it yeah, yeah it's on so, the album yeah, yeah, that was the one. The original song is uh like a bonus cut. Yeah, but you know that album went double platinum too, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was some awards given. It wasn't yeah. it a Grammy or, or yeah, something. Yeah, I know I got some plaques from that shit. You got some plaques from it? I got plaques. I, I, I probably got about 30, 40 plaques. I've been a, <laughs> damn near every damn, every major album I went on went platinum. You know, Lil John, we did eight million on one song. We did about three, four million on another one. You know, uh, uh, the Jermaine J.P. went platinum. The album I did with Loom with Puffy. That album, I went platinum on that. Uh, I think me and uh, Pastor Troy got a couple gold joints. Uh, me and 50 Cent, you know, we did platinum on that uh, Sabrina Baby Boy. Uh, who else? Me and Too Short, we went double platinum. We, I went platinum twice with Too Short. I went gold with uh, Mac 10. Uh, man, so many albums I've been on, I can't remember that shit. Do uh, what? Do, what do you think about the music now? This is a good question because you've been around this music, this hip hop, when it first came in the dough till now. How do you feel about the hip hop that we're dealing with? The the, the way that the music sounds. Man, now? these niggas, I'm asking. Hey, you, I want to know. These niggas in today. These niggas winning like a motherfucker. I know they winning. Money wise. Money wise. Money wise nobody, nobody. Are you nobody. talking about the music? Yeah, the oh, music. Well, well, I just well, want. Well, well, don't sound like no old bitter person. But no, but, no, no, but no, let, no. Me, let me let me say this to you, right? You like Future? Yes. Future's the king of hooks, right? Yes. But somebody now. marketed him as the king of hooks. So, you know what I'm saying? Every time Future do a hook, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the whole song could be damn near a hook and it's going to go platinum because that's what we got Future. So now you got little Baby doing hooks. You got yeah. the Baby doing hooks. So now that's the flavor. So whatever the powers to be say that's what's going on, then that's that. Now, now, now let, me, let me be technical. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean will we ever go back to the... Uh, 
LL Cool J's, the Rock Kims. We will go back to uh, 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 EPMD. You no. know what I'm saying? We ever go back to, you know, I mean, even Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. You know, it depends on what's being marketed. You know what I'm saying? If they become marketable, then they're going to market it. So, you know what I'm saying? I always tell artists, look, man, I don't, I don't give a fuck how good you can rap. If you market well, you're going to be successful. That's it. So, so they go back to my organization, the Hip Hop Fraternity. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We market it well. That's why everybody know about us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the marketing that I'm doing. So marketing whatever, what, so 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 when I tell my artists, you know, like uh, Dutch, you know what I'm saying? I always tell, them, I say, look, don't worry about your music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the music gonna be okay if we market you and we put you out there and we program the people and we through hypnosis and the various mm. things that we need to do to get you in the head. Guess what? It, whatever you're doing gonna be a hit. You know what I mean? So you, so 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 when you listen to the rap today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a hit because somebody marketed these songs as hits. You know what I'm saying? I mean, then you know you look at you know the way music is, is brought to uh, to the to the consumer. It's through YouTube's. Yeah. So you meet artists through YouTube's. It used to be through the radio. Now you meet an artist through YouTube before you ever meet them on the radio. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.